Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really important video for you today. I'm going to be explaining the current short trades that I am in on Bitcoin, the targets that I am looking to take them down towards and I also want to be giving you an update on the harmonic pattern that we're obviously trading on the more medium term time frame. So there is a lot to cover today. Obviously the standard process that I want to go through, I want to firstly cover the last 24 hours of price action from the update of the last video that I made, uh, educating you the process process and the trades that we have taken during this time and then naturally we're going to move on to what's happening right now and how we are looking to trade this over the next few days again you might be thinking Daniel you're in a short position there's a bounce happening I'll be explaining why in this video so all you need to do is pay full attention to me block out the uh, distractions around you give me the, the attention right down the levels that I give you and let's enjoy these trades ladies and gentlemen without further said ado Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin price action. So as I said, I want to start off going over this section before we get on to what's happening now. Why is that? It's because from the last video update that I gave to you on the public, we were looking at this triangle. And I want to give an update on how this really progressed after the predictions that I made in the last video. We were obviously, the title of the video was, <laughs> it was extreme urgent emergency Bitcoin fake out. We were ready and waiting for these fake outs and we were actually granted both of them, both of the those fake outs. Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> George is now a, an official coach at Chart Champions, just for an FYI. If you love George, he's now a coach. Anyway, coming back onto the prediction that we made, we're obviously ready and waiting for these fake outs. We did see a fake out to the downside, which what happened? It gave you the uh, it gave you the option for a long position after faking the low and getting back into the range. Okay, you can see here we got the fake out, e.g. What is it? What does it mean to be aware of a fake out? It means you're ready and waiting for a, essentially a move to the downside to get people really bearish at the lows, okay? To get people, you know, closing out their longs and then you move to the upside, okay? That is what we were looking at and aware of for the fake out of the triangle. You did get that in the end. Quite a more difficult long, in my opinion. It was a fairly difficult long. The easier trade was the short position that you then could have traded this into though, because what are you ready and waiting for as you're moving up to the highs? You're ready and waiting for that swing failure pattern, essentially the same scenario, but a fake out to the upside. See how if you're ready and prepared for these scenarios, you could have traded both the long into the short position. Why? Because this is what on the flip side you're waiting for. A move to the upside, taking out that high, closing back down below, and that then gives you the short trade. So this day we were able to trade that long position from the fake out of the low to a short position into the fake out of the high. You know, you can fully close the long at that point and enter your shorts as many other champions actually did. As they see, as you can see here, making money from the longs then bring it, bringing it back into the short positions. Also other people able to catch both of the moves. How are you able to catch both of those moves? It was really simply by being prepared for the long and then being prepared for the short. And in my opinion, the short was a much easier trade than the long. The long was a difficult trade. The short was very simple swing failure pattern. <laughs> you know, it's not a, a, not that difficult when you're ready and waiting for it and you're planned for it. Wasn't that difficult of a short position. Okay, so that was the quick update on the triangle. And as you can see how this really progressed, we made our way down. We broke market structure at this point, giving ourselves this, you know, lower term time frame, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then this was the real perfect scenario when you come back in, you're testing these point of controls, you're rejecting, obviously it brings you down to here. But there's something that I would really like to emphasize what happened on this move to the upside. And it's this, what I will always tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the context is of utmost importance. Where you've recently come from, this is why every video I'm explaining why we have come from these positions. Because to know how to trade here, you have to understand where you have recently come from, because this all comes into the context context of the current trade environment. No two trades are ever the same. No two trades are ever the same. Every outcome in this market and every every trade that we have is totally unique. That's why you have to fully understand and comprehend where you have just come from to know the probabilities of the trade that you are taking next. And for me, it was really important reading that we were, yes, at the low of the range. Obviously, I'm talking about yesterday morning. We're at the low of the range. I'm waking up here. I'm seeing, hey, we're at the low of the range, but my words are simple. My tips that I'm giving to my team are simple. Okay. First post that I made in the morning was personally, I'm remaining in that Bitcoin short trade for now. Why? I'm not going to be looking for the low of the longs off the low of this range. I'm going to remain patiently in my short position looking for lower. Why was this? Well, I had recognized that we had just come off the back of the 
uh, just come off the back of the uh, swing failure pattern of the highs. There was absolutely no strength at that moment in time. And the only thing that I'd be waiting for is another failed auction offer at a range low. That was the only thing that I would have been interested in. And if not, then preferably lower. Okay. And that also is something that I wanted to just explain really briefly is obviously we have been trading this harmonic. The harmonic target was around $46,000. But as you all know, we actually rejected off of the old bottom of the old CC taking this high. And this is a, a case of, you know, one can have a medium term time frame plan. Remember, you have to remember, we were also long in this $35,000, taking it up to $45,000 is a hell of a gain. But, um, you know, there was a little bit more of a target left per se. But this is the thing that we are trading the charts, we're trading what's happening. Yes, this target that we made last week, this was the bank stuffing trade of the week that I gave to the champions last week during the champions live stream, by the way. This was given on live stream in advance, uh, this harmonic. But obviously it's a case of understanding this harmonic. Yes, we have that target towards, you know, $47,000, $48,000, but let's trade what's happening. You know, if we're given this short trade, let's take the short trade. You know, if we if we do complete a wave four, now obviously the potential of the harmonic is this is a wave four, move up for another wave five. Um, so that fifth wave could still be coming. But the important thing that I want to educate you here is, hey, I'm not getting distracted by this. I'm not focused on this. I'm focused on what's happening right now, the trades and the money that I can be making today. And that for me was, yes, off of really simply stay in those short positions, okay? Uh, so for, for me, that's really important emphasis that I wanted to also explain there. And then I went on a little bit later to say, for me, the daily open is the key level of resistance, as people, of course, are going to write down these levels. Uh, we obviously had the, the daily open here up to, you see the PDPOC coming in at 44,100. For me, really simply, again, telling my group, like I wrote in the morning, I'm staying in a short position. And I go on to say, really simply, this is the next level of resistance that you can be looking towards. Yeah, pretty simple stuff that I'm explaining there. And look, this is what actually went on to happen. You can see we come up, we wick onto the daily open, topping at the PDPOC to the absolute dollar, by the way. And that then is given another short opportunity. Okay, you're really gifted another short opportunity. Why? Because you can see here, since the drop, we went into the de de open. 13 hours later is, you know, it took 13 hours to get the retest. But upon that retest, you get a really perfect retest, <laughs> you wick onto the level. So you see it come up, hit the D, D open with a wick onto the level, closing back down below, e.g. forming that form of a rejection. And then you actually get the selling imbalances out of this as well, by the way. And well, after that rejection, of course, one is expecting the really big move to the downside. Why? Because at that moment in time, you have... <laughs> You, you, you've just got everything lining up bearishly. The context of the, you've just got the swing failure pattern. Then you've got the context of getting a perfect retest. You've got a perfect rejection. And then you've got the selling imbalances out of it. You had to really expect that this range was going to break to the downside and a big dump will follow. And of course, we're talking about, an, uh, after that rejection, we got, it took about another two hours, but we did. We did make our way down through the bottom of that range, obviously leaving us, as you can see here, when you add on that range, it, you know, you're know, coming down another $2,000 from that moment in time. So by being able to read and understand that, you know, the order flow is, of course, massively important. And I do want to show you this order flow. But again, again, from the first post in the morning, hey, I'm going to stay in my short position, to the last post that I made last night before sleeping, I'm still going to stay in that short position, okay? Whew, that was that was a talk through. <laughs> that was a talk through of what's happened over the last 24 hours. A little bit longer than what I thought, but we are going to move on to what's happening now. I mean, this was another interesting thing. And this is a thing where I want you to just briefly think about what I write here as we do monitor what's happening. Um, obviously, it was quite an interesting one and people really liked it. Obviously, on uh, Wednesday, we done a contenders live stream. Myself, Mike, Igor, George, and Victor. We all came together to do this really epic live stream for you all. And during that live stream, <laughs> there you go, people absolutely love this one. And during that, <laughs> I like that picture actually. During that live stream, uh, I asked a really simple question to Igor. And this, this is kind of the funny post. Igor, simple question. Do you see a good long on Bitcoin at the moment? Igor, no. Bitcoin, say no more. What I want you to think about here is, obviously it's a bit funny that, that it happened, but what I want you to think about here is, what we're thinking about in terms of swing trades. Again, you have five of the best traders in the world right now. Okay, we've come together to form our opinions. And all of us are under, under the same opinion that yes, we could go higher for this harmonic, but we have been given at that time, obviously we're doing the live stream around here. We are all in short positions via that swing failure pattern. We recognize 
in short positions often a swing to up failure pattern. There's no swing long to be had here. So just think about this for a minute. If five of the best traders in the world are all under the opinion that this is a good time for taking profits on our longs, it's a good time for taking the short position and there is no swing long to be had here. Is it any surprise that we saw a really big move to the downside to give you that potential way forward? It should not be a surprise because if, 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 if we're thinking this, Okay, the bigger players are thinking this. And so you're going to get those retracements. Why? Because this is not a good area of value. You're up at resistance after a very large move to the upside. Okay, bigger players are not FOMOing long here. Your bigger players are taking profits on their longs and they're entering short positions. Okay, simultaneous, you know, <laughs> day later, we saw this really big move to the downside, which again does give you the potential wave for. It's not necessarily over, but, you know, you're coming down to your better areas of value, aren't you? So, yeah. That's just something that I wanted to highlight really quickly. Um, and now we're going to move on to what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. Whew. Actually, no, there's... <laughs> Sorry, that's really sorry. There's two announcements that I wanted to give. The first announcement is obviously if you want to see that live stream, that's over on our brand new website right now. So that's just chartchampions.com. You can always sign up where we give you all of the education. And of course, a, a, on top of the education, if you're a champion, you get these little insights by myself of how I'm training throughout the day, which let's be honest, is pretty gold. And um, you also get the education, all the, all the theory alongside it. And the second announcement that I wanted to do, which for me is a really important one, is about the new, oh yeah, by the way, nice short, is about the new fee structure that's been announced over on Bybit, which for me personally is a really, really nice upgrade. Essentially for the, you have to remember, I'm using like 90% market orders on my trades. And the, as you can see what I've written here, for the, this is obviously for the top VIP level, just, you know, you have to bear that in mind, which I'm going to be uh, looking towards and we've got the for the perpetual which is your futures market you got uh, your market fees decreased from 0 0.075 to 0 0.0425 percent and for the spot trading which is outstanding 0 0.1 percent to 0 0.04 percent which is over half you know it's, it's a half discount on the fees so for me personally i'm really 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 happy <laughs> about the new fee structure on bybit uh for me this is a uh, this is a really big uh, you know, this is a really big uh, advantage to, to, for me personally. And what I'm also going to be doing this week is speaking with Bybit. Of, of course, if you don't know, we are actually the largest volume team in the whole of Bybit. So we obviously have quite an influence on Bybit. We're good friends, um, good partners, let's say. And because of that partnership that we have formed and giving them so much volume, uh, I'm going to actually try and get all of the uh, affiliates under our team link, um, you know, access to this VIP feature on, on Bybit, basically getting getting you all a free upgrade. I'm going to either attempt for this or I'm going to attempt for a further discount on, on, on um, orders. Of course, there's no guarantee, but I'm going to try my best because why would I not? Uh, so yeah, that's, if you're interested in that, that's just an announcement of the new fees that you should be aware of, of course. And second of all, if you want to uh, join our partnered team with the affiliate link over on Bybit, you can do that right now by creating a new account via this link, uh, which I suppose I'll leave in the description and the comment down below. And you can create a new account, come over and uh, join the CC pool team over on Bybit. So if that's interesting to you, I'll leave that comment down below. But at the very least, you need to be aware of the new fees, which for myself personally is a is a really big upgrade. You know, over half 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 uh, I'll be paying on on fees. So that that for me is really good news. So, and again, if you want to join, that's the link. I'll leave it in the comments down below. And those are the two announcements: the Bybit fees and the new website, which you can obviously watch our latest live stream on. Um, so yeah, bringing it now onto what's happening right now. Hope you've enjoyed the first. 13 minutes of this video, educating you on this section to the downside, how we could look to trade it, recognizing ranges, recognizing context, recognizing rejections, and then just really simply remaining calm, collected, still short, and right now I'm still short. So the first question might be on your mind, Daniel, why are you short? There's a bounce happening right now. We've just seen a really big move to the upside, been a swing forward pattern of the range low. Yes, if I was actually awake, I was not awake at this moment in time, um, I could have taken that short trade. I did not have an alar alarm set on that level. Just for me, it was two of a small intraday trade to, to wake up early for. This, these days I've been working extremely late <laughs> and extremely hard. So I didn't want to you know, I'm not I'm not willing to wake up for for uh, for this move. Um, for me, levels that I would be willing to have an alarms and and waking up for is more towards this for, big forty thousand level. Obviously, we have our old dailies this level, 
For me, I've got this key level marked at around 39,700, um, you know, give or take either side of this. But we obviously cannot forget that old daily that we have. We cannot forget this level that I've just given you, which is obviously sitting on towards our last uh, resistance into support flip. We can obviously be looking at, um, you know, back into your value area highs with these POCs, which is naturally coming in actually around 13, say about $39,000. So $39,000 is also very key level in my opinion starting at 39700 so for me this is like a big area of support so you again i want to emphasize i, I am personally i'm in short positions I'm, I'm happy to say um you know why am i not getting interested here then you might think well for me this area is not interesting it's not a major level of support in my opinion can we bounce here of course we can bounce it but it's not for me an area that i'm willing to put my money on the line okay i would prefer to trade this with a sign of strength which is, what is a sign of strength? Well, a sign of strength would actually be a reclaim, in my opinion, back into this old range, okay? If we can do that, that's a sign of strength. And then I would be willing to say the probabilities have changed. We're no longer going to be looking for lower. We can actually look for higher. I can look to buy higher. Does that mean I won't long the absolute low? Yes, I am happy to say I'm not going to long the absolute low if we are to bounce here. You know, for me, it's fine. I would have still made money on that short position, less profit, yeah, but I will still have made money because I will close that if we are able to see this sign of strength back into the old range. And I can really simply look for that long higher. Yes, I went long the absolute low, but I will long with a much greater probability in my favor. And for me, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so personally, right now, I would say the stronger levels of support are below us. If we are to bounce here, I will admit um, this is absolutely fine. And I'll simply look for my long on the signs of strength higher with increased probabilities on those long trades. So for now, I need to remain patient. I need to be patient. Okay, lots of people are going to be taking their longs too early. Lots of people are going to be taking their shorts too late. For me, I am absolutely calm, patient, collected. I have my plan. I have my levels. And I'm only looking to take money off of the market, okay? I'm here to make money trading. I'm not here to do anything else. I'm not here to be a hero. I'm here to make money, period. And for me right now, that means remain patient. I need to wait for a sign of strength. Our first initial sign of strength could be classed as a reclaim of $42,000, being a really important range point of control. This would be a first inkling of strength, okay? And then if we also get into that old range, of course, it's a big sign of strength where I can naturally be looking for my long positions. Alternatively, we do not reclaim that and we do make our way further down, which naturally I suppose we could be preferring. Uh, FYI, I still hold obviously the longs from $35,000 off of that harmonic because we still have a potential wave four, which for me is important. A few things to mention on the order flow, uh, which I personally found very interesting and I hope you do too. Yesterday when we retested that daily open, again, the level that we were ready and waiting for, marking out as resistance. I want to show you this, as soon as we hit that level and rejected, well, I wonder who this could have been, but you saw instantly over on Bybit, 12 million shorts open on the initial rejection, followed by 26 million shorts off of the selling imbalances, 6.5 million in the next candle, followed by minus 32 million on the, you know, on the, I nearly said siguiente, on the next candle. This is my Spanish brain thinking, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but EG, you saw a lot of aggressive big shorts opening, and this is really emphasizing to you, okay, this is bearish. You know, you, we, we are seeing a break off the range low with really big increases in volume. You're seeing the increase of open interest. You know, you don't want to be the hero at this time, and obviously you made your way another few thousand dollars to the downside. But just trying to be aware of seeing that on the order flow, you're not going to be thinking to yourself, oh yeah, I'm going to look to, uh, you know, randomly long this level. No, you've got to be remaining patient at that time. Wait for lower, which we obviously did get another few thousand dollars lower or wait for the reclaim. It was really should have been as simple as that. Just things that I like to just mark out here and be aware of. Um, obviously, we you might be wondering why are we bouncing where we're bouncing? Well, really simply, we obviously come back into this old Igor session and that old Igor session is helping you find support down here around that $41,000. So the Eagle session, of course, is giving you temporary support. At least I can recognize if we do bounce here, why we bounced here. But for me personally, the Eagle session alone is not enough for me to long. Maybe Eagles longed it. <laughs> but for me personally, um, I would say hats off to you, Igor, if you got that long. I'm happy to long a little bit higher off after a sign of strength. Again, I would prefer to protect, protect my capital than get every single penny out of the market. And I think when you are approaching this as a professional that's in this for the long term, hey, you can miss one or two trades. It's really not going to make any difference at all because guess what? 
next week, the week after. There's many, 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 many trades to be had. And in my opinion, with much better probabilities, e.g. this, this was a massive 15% move to the upside. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that this video has come to give you some education in terms of how you have to be ready and waiting for these fake outs, how you can make money on your longs and the shorts. Okay, you're able to trade both sides of this market in a brilliant style, how you can have opinions on the chart of, hey, we might go higher for this harmonic, but at the end of the day, we're given a short trade, let's take it, let's trade what's happening on the chart again. You know, just very important to do that. You're then recognizing order flow and volume as it's coming in to give you really big advantage of what you're looking for next. Are you looking to be aggressive on the longs or do you want to remain patient for lower? You know, this was a great helping for myself personally. Okay, you're recognizing levels where you can bounce and then you're coming into the form of probabilities. Yes, we know why we've bounced at this level, but is it enough for me to get involved yet? My personal answer, again, this can be different for you, but my personal answer is no, because I don't want to get involved here. I mean, comfortable... I'm in a comfortable long from $35,000 of a harmonic. I'm now in a very comfortable short from the swing fair pan of the height. Literally a long at the low and a short up at the high, by the way. Um, and, and I'm in a comfortable position now. Again, not everybody might be in this position, but I know many other champions are. So, you know, we're in this nice position now where we can um, wait this out. Let's see if we get the sign of strength, which I'm more than happy to long and close my short positions. Looking for the wave five. Or alternatively, we come back a bit lower. And then again, I'll look for that next trade off of that. And again, we know some of those local levels that we are looking towards there. Again, if we can break this high, we also know off of our last video, levels to the upside. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn more, obviously we educate all of this, chartchampions.com. This is our brand new learning platform, which you can get stuck into today. Uh, really good experience. Come over and, and check that out to, to learn, educate, empower yourself. And secondly, once again, the Bybit fees are changing. Uh, if you want to get into the Chart Champions pool team, you can sign up today with a new Bybit account. Um, and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. If you already have an account, then you'd obviously have to create a new account and send the funds to that new account, which requires a new email address um, just for an FYI. But you can read through, pause the screen on, on some of that. Uh, and apart from that, thank you ever so much. I hope that you have an absolutely brilliant day. And that is me signing out. Um, any final update words? No, that's it. Thank you ever so much. Of course, no financial advice. Uh, pause and read this. Just entertainment, education only, paper trades, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you understand. Thank you ever so much and have a brilliant weekend. Thank you and goodbye.